we've got some lovely weather. This is it, and I'm in a turn. Look at that. <laughs> it's so bad. It's like milk in a cow. <laughs> Virtually no sleep last night whatsoever. Hi guys, I'm Andy. Welcome back to Backpacking UK. If hiking, backpacking and wild camping are your thing, please hit that subscribe button because that's what this channel is all about. Right, today we come to the Lake District on our motorbikes to camp at Haystacks. So Haystacks has been on my sort of hit list for a while now, in particular in, in nominate time, if I'm saying that right. So, it's obviously the resting place of Wainwright, that's why everyone sort of wants to go there, everyone sort of knows that really. But that's the plan today. So, we've already done a lot of sort of bike touring to get up here. Um, we've done a few of the passes too, which have been absolutely brilliant fun. So we've just been fed and watered at the Wasdale Head Inn and we're heading up to Kirkfell before descending back down and then the rise onto Haystacks. So we've got some lovely weather, absolutely lovely weather. This is Kirkfell behind us. We've really lucked in today. We've dodged so many showers. Um, so hopefully the weather's gonna be really good to us tonight. We've got some different tents, we've got some different camping gear to show you. Um, got some camp stove meals too. So hopefully this will be a good video, some good hiking, some good wild camping and some good weather. Let's wait and see. So we've started our route to go up Kirkfell from the Wasdale Head Inn. Now, I've done this before a few years ago. I did the Mosdale Horseshoe, which is basically like this ridge line all the way across, all the way across the pillar, all the way back down to Lingmel. Oh God, if, if, if you're into your hiking, Mosdale Horseshoe has got to be on your hit list. It really has. It's a stunning walk. Um, just when you think you're over it, you've got to get onto U Barrow, which let me tell you, is not easy at all. <laughs> it's a little bit tricky, a little bit scary too. It's so rewarding, it's an absolutely cracking walk. So we're starting our ascent of Kirkfell, just like we did a few years ago. That's a really, really nice walk, I've got to say. And um, you can hear some sheep right high up on Kirkfell. But it's a lovely day, can't wait. So today, the gear that I'm wearing, I've got my Aku hiking boots, which are stunning. They're really, really nice Italian boots. Aku might sound a little bit Chinesey, but I'm telling you, they're expensive hiking boots, lovely. So using that, 
be using my darn tough socks, my mountain equipment, Ibex Pro hiking trousers. I've got my DHB wiggle and Reno wool base layer on, and just a mountain equipment t-shirt on. And I'm using my Osprey Atmos 65 backpack, which is fully loaded. It weighs an absolute ton. Um, especially as I bought all my V-logging gear with me. So, I bought this, my Insta360 camera, and my drone as well. So, let's see how we get on. Right, so the tents we'll be using tonight are Terranova Pioneer 2, the Nature Hike Nebula 2, and also the Wild Country Helm 2, but the compact version, which everyone really likes their Wild Country Helm 2. But the compact version is tiny. It's like, it's smaller than some one-person tents. Yes, it might still weigh 2.35 kilos, um, but it's really, really small. And it's got these really compact poles, um, which make the bag size really small. So that's the tent that I'll be sleeping in tonight. And it's an absolute cracker. I've slept in it once, can't wait to sleep in it again. And the Nature Hike Nebula 2, oh, for a summer tent, I've called it like a summer version of a Cloud Peak 2. Um, it's an absolute cracker, it really is. So stay tuned and I'll show you around our tents. just in case you fall, fall down the cliff mark 250 quid coming my way good skills nearly there chaps Right, here we are, this is Haystacks. We made it. Oh, day, look at this. It's windy. Really windy up here. What view. 
views. What views? Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Look at this. But haystacks, and off we go to Innominate Tarn. Right, so here we are. Innominate Tarn. We made it. It feels good. So, three hours, 12 minutes, 860 meters of elevation. Distance, we see K, but it's basically just over five miles. But uh, you've made it, so a few wild campers here already. So, don't really want to disturb them. So, just want to find a place that isn't boggy. boggy. But look at this, this is it. I'm in a turn. Look at that. Really smart. So, let's find a place to pitch. Look at this. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Right up high up on the mountain. Right, so we've just pitched our tents and it's just about to absolutely pee it down. So what we've got, Wild Country Helm 2 Compact, Nature Hike Nebula 2, and over here we've got Mark with his Terranova Pioneer 2, and it's just about to start raining, like biblical rain. We've had to put these tents up in pairs because the wind's so bad. But it's worth it, look at this. It's just so worth it. Look at that. So I'm hoping we're gonna get some nice weather in the morning, just take some footage to really show this place off. But yeah, it might brighten up just before dark, but it's not looking good right now. See you in a bit. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> look at this, it's so bad. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to be making a video about camping in a storm. It was supposed to be a nice video showing off the Lake District, but the weather has another agenda. Do you think it's gonna pass? <laughs> Boy, gosh, I'm not so uh, convinced. Oh, it's like from nowhere, full on rainstorm, windstorm. So before we left Wasdale Head in, I got there Ritson's Bar to fill up my 750 litre bottle with Wainwright. So got <laughs> They did it properly as well. They measured a pint and a half. So, oh, I've got a pint and a half of Wayne right in here. Mmm. Oh. That could be the best beer I've ever had. I'm gonna need it to get through this. Look at this. What a beer, so good. So seeing as we're on Haystacks, right next to Nominate Tarn, I think it's only fair that we toast to Wainwright by drinking Wainwright. So cheers, Wainwright. All right, let's go check up on Mark. What's he doing? Wind's died down a little bit. How good this tent is, that nature hike nebula. Awesome tent. It's Mark's tent. How's it going, Mark? Yeah, man. Good, good? Fantastic. <laughs> Gonna be singing Always Look on the Bright Side of Life from now on when we go camping. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Right. This has been a great day, actually. Yeah.
proper, proper adventure day. Yeah, full on, isn't it? <laughs> All right, pump some water. <laughs> God, it's slippy. Fuck. Pick like the slippiest rocks to tread on. Right. Whoops. <laughs> That's not going to make the cut. <laughs> Mark, which water filter do you use? Soil one. This MSR one's it's all right, it's just a little bit of a faff. Yeah. I don't understand. The cat's bad. It's like you can't put any water in it. Yeah? Squish it around. Yep. The MSR one's all right. It's just, you just got to get, it's like milk and a cow. You've just got to get the techers right. <laughs> Once you've got the techers right, it flows. <laughs> Does it? Right, that's the MSR done. Right, jet boil, flash. Let's get this set up. So we've got some nice camp stove meals to have. We've got some summit to eat meals, salmon and broccoli. And a little spicy chip of tile, um, one, two. So, I've just filled my water, which, to be honest, up here on this time, you probably don't need to filter the water, but I have anyway, just in case. So, I personally like to fix this on first so I'm going to fill it up because we need there's two of us that we need this water for and these jet ball flashes just boil water so so fast it's so good so MSR trail shots done a great job get this in the right position from the start and off we go. So I'll protect it from the wind a bit and warm my hands up at the same time. <laughs> Actually, this is this could be a thing. I wouldn't want any comeback though from people on my channel saying I burn my hands from doing your crazy boiling water jet boil thing. It works though. Right, the jet boil has let me down. So, borrowing MSR wind burner which I need a lighter for. You haven't even got a lighter, you're doing it the old school. Car, look at, look at this, this is proper. Backpacking UK is going a bit bushcrafty. There we go. Right. Just 
The only thing is, you're not always sure if it's actually on. Yep, I have a spoon and a fork. This actually smells really good. I've got salmon and broccoli pasta. Kieran's got the bum burner one. <laughs> After your Sri Lankan meal last night, the... Uh, The the, uh, the 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 time might relieve the bum burning. Does it smell good? This one smells really good. Whoa, that looks naughty. <laughs> oh, that looks good one. Oop. All right. Line B. Line B. Looks like line B to me. Yep. What do you know what where yours is like? It's like mine mine's uh, eight minutes you gotta stir this for. What does it say? Remove oxygen absorber. Oh yeah, did you did you have one of those in it? <laughs> <laughs> you got, you, you got, you might have to find your little. What is in there? Oh, oh, that would be a bit of a bum burner potentially there. <laughs> so, just about to go to sleep, and there's lightning. The whole sky lit up. Big crash of thunder. And this was not, not supposed to happen. I'm not happy about this. Stuck on the top of a mountain in a thunder and lightning storm. I'm not happy. Oh, good morning. Well, <laughs> virtually no sleep last night whatsoever because the wind was relentless, absolutely relentless. And every sort of few minutes, you get like the super gust would come along and just rattle the tent. It's just impossible to get to sleep. I'd earplugs, everything. Um, yeah, such a shame. <laughs> So, but that's what it's like with wild camping. But to be honest, like this just it is absolutely stunning. Some big rain clouds around, which I'm a little bit conscious of. But it's also a little glimmer of hope, a bit of blue sky too. So we got really lucky yesterday with the weather. So I'm hoping we do today too. So, it was nice to meet a couple of people yesterday. There's also a few more wild campers too. Um, one of them in particular had a really, really good sheltered spot. So he might have got some sleep. But we always knew our location was a bit exposed. But I didn't think it'd be quite as windy as it was. So look, look how cool this is. That is such a cool spot. It really, really is. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get a brew on and I'm going to get some porridge. I desperately need something to eat. Right, finally, got a bit of shelter. Finally. Let's get this on. So 
So plan today is basically get back to Wasdale Head probably as quick as we can. Realistically, the, the, the wind's really bad. We're dodging rain at the moment. You know, you just, you want to have fun. You know, we push ourselves, but you don't want to push yourselves too far because otherwise you just end up not wanting to do it. So, you know, as usual, it's not a bad thing changing your plans. Um, the worst thing you could do is stick to the original plan all the time, no matter what the weather conditions are like or regardless of light conditions too. So we made a good call yesterday and um, yeah, we had a lot of fun and we had a really good night last night. It's just a shame we didn't sleep. That's the only sad thing about it, but hey ho, is what it is. So a bit of report back on the gear that we were using. First of all, hiking gear, these Aku boots, Aku boots. I was a bit unsure about them because they've got really rigid sole. But tell you what, for the walk we did yesterday, absolutely perfect. Um, um, lots of people don't like rigid soles, but yeah, it's an absolute godsend yesterday. No sore points on my feet whatsoever. Absolutely brilliant boots. Also managed to properly dip my foot in the tarn when I wasn't paying any attention. And there's no water inside my boot whatsoever. So I'm well chuffed about that. And these mountain equipment Ibex Pro trousers, awesome. So, because it was changeable, I could whip these big zips down, which just leaves my leg. Um, so they're really like highly ventilated. They were superb. Um, my tent, Wild Country Helm 2, compact tent. It's not great in wind. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, it's a bit unfair, you know, it's like we're... It's not probably not really meant as a summit tent. Um, it was it got moved around a lot. The, the the poles were a little bit flexy. Um, even though I guide it out really really well, um, I guide it out really well. But even by doing that. Yeah, still moving around a lot, and I couldn't guide it any better than that. I used every single guide point, every single peg. Yeah, it is what it is, really, with that. I mean, still a fantastic tent, absolutely brilliant tent. I've just probably pushed the purpose of that tent a little bit too much last night. But that's what these tests are for. That's why I come out here and do these sorts of things report back to you so hopefully you make the right purchasing decisions nature hike nebula 2 that was flapping around all over the place again it's not really meant for summits however that is a brilliant summer tent um you know if the weather was a little bit better that tent would have shone without a doubt it's nature hike nebula it's not a lot of money I think it's just over a hundred quid. It's an awesome tent, loads of space in there, really well made, well impressed with that. And Mark's Terranova Pioneer 2, you've probably seen this in a couple of videos already. That's just that next step up, but it is in price as well. It retails at 600, you can buy it for 400 with a footprint at the moment, but that's, that's the next level. And to be honest, that's the sort of level of tents we needed last night. So it'd be interesting to see if Mark slept. I'll have to ask him in a minute. I was using my Nature Hike Snowbird 2 down sleeping bag. It's like budget down sleeping bag. I think it's supposed to go down to minus one, which it's no, it's not really like all sleeping bags, so we'll exaggerate a bit. However, that was so nice last night. I made the right decision. I thought it might be a bit more chilly than the weather reports were letting on 
I was in there just in my boxer shorts, perfect temperature. The only thing is like every now and then like a huge gust came along, huge, and it ripped the like cold air through my tent and a little bit into the sleeping bag. But the actual sleeping bag was really nice. It was really, really nice. And I was using my uni gear um, camp fee sleeping pad which is like a lightly insulated sleeping pad. It's a large version, so it's quite big. And yeah, I must admit the next sleeping pad I get, especially if I spend a lot of money on an expensive winter one, I'm gonna get a larger one, probably one a little bit wider. Um, I tend to move around quite a lot when I'm camping um, and it'll just keep me on my sleeping mat and hopefully keep me asleep too. But overall, well chuffed with my gear, it's a bit unfortunate, you know, it's a lot windier than I was expecting, so maybe I didn't quite bring the right gear, but we still had a great time anyway. Right, so let's have a quick look around here. Um, I think I come over this side last night. So, legs are actually feeling pretty fresh, so I'm really pleased about that. So, should be able to get back to our motorbikes pretty quickly. Hopefully they're still there. Um, hopefully all our gear is there too, because uh, we came in levers, so we obviously dumped them cunningly in a tent. So pay for a camping pitch on a campsite, you put them in there. So yeah, as you can see, you get to the top, so, nice little tarn there, Dave. Really nice. But, yeah, it's just, just like... <laughs> Got to be uh, a little bit careful. There was um, some scrambling up to get to get up on to haystacks yesterday. Um, yeah, well, I'm glad we did it yesterday, not today. I'm hoping the way down is a little bit easier. But let's get up here. Let's do a little 360 so you can see what's going on. So, guys, a two hand jobby this is. Whoa. Yeah, you can't beat it. You really can't beat it. Makes you feel a lot. Right, so super, super strong coffee this morning. So I'm going to drink this and then wake the others up, which is a bit of a joke because I bet they didn't sleep either, but let's have a look. So this is my tent, so I've got this. Lovely down nature hike snowbird to sleep in bag, and then I've got my Nemo Philo pillow, and then this is the Uni Gear Camphy, it's like a lightly insulated sleeping pad. I think it's got an R factor of about 342, perfect for this time of year. But just inside. Got my backpack actually inside because the vestibule is quite small on this wild country home to and then I've got some of my other gear down there but it's got some nice big pockets as well somewhere for my little lantern as well what do you say <laughs> that's right that's spotless just now we found it Right, 
Right, so this is Black Bear Time. So this is our plan B for yesterday. If there's nowhere to welcome a uh, non hotel this is much bigger. But like all these places are there. Done. It's, it's raining, but to be honest, I'm probably more wet on the inside than on the outside. So it's just quite muggy, quite humid, it's certainly not cold. But it's just classic Lakeland weather. So yeah, it's gone really well so far. Got a bit of a march on. Just got to find a way to cross this little stream, which isn't going to be easy because it's really quite wet. Right, we've just to Kirk Fell um, between so the wind is strange so It's a bit different to yesterday. Look at that, it's totally different. made it back at the Warsdale Head Inn. Oh, it's good to be back, I'm not going to lie. Got absolutely battered by the wind and the rain. Um, as soon as you stop, it gets really cold. And now, we've got to put our motorbike <laughs> levers on and uh, head back off. And 
yeah, it could be interesting. Um, so we're just going to have a look at hard knot and rhinos just to see if it's actually doable. But to be honest, we usually just man up and crack on. But yeah, it's been a great trip, no sleep, but it's been an experience, it's been an adventure, and it's better than being at work. So if you haven't before, please check out my other videos. Hope to see you motorbiking, camping and hiking soon. Cheers.